Oh my god, I am sick and tired of this thing popping up on my fucking Facebook. Why do people think that this thing is even a, at all a good fucking argument, slash think that Albert Einstein actually fucking say this? I mean, why would there be some out loud atheist professor in a classroom in like the 1940 or 1920s or whatever when the majority of people were religious? And why the fuck would Albert Einstein be trying to prove God when Albert Einstein was an agnostic and he didn't believe in a personal God? So, all right. So, the professor of a university challenges students with this question. Did God create everything that exists? A student answered and said, yes, he did. Bravely, he answered this, ladies and gentlemen. Bravely. It, it, it took a lot of guts for him to answer this question in around 1920s or whatever this was. You know, for, for a student to say, yes, God created everything. At a time when the majority of people believed in God. Wow, what a, what a brave thing to say. Then the professor asks, if God created everything, then he created evil. Since evil exists, as you notice by your own actions, so God is evil. The student couldn't respond to that statement, causing the professor to conclude that he had proved, quotations, that the belief in God was a fairy tale and therefore worthless. Whoa, whoa, what? What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That is the worst fucking deduction. What idiot moron concludes that if God is evil, therefore he doesn't exist? That doesn't make any sense. I don't believe in God, okay, but that doesn't, that isn't a logical step. Okay, so moving on. Another student raises his hand and asks the professor, oh my God, it's him. It's, it's fake Einstein. May I pose a question? Of course, answered the professor. Young student, young student stood up and he asked, professor, does cold exist? The professor answered, what kind of question is that? Of course the cold exists. Haven't you ever been cold? The young student answered, in fact, sir, cold does not exist. According to the laws of physics, what we consider cold is in fact the absence of heat. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, he just made an analogy for cold and heat for good and evil. That makes perfect fucking sense. So what Hitler did really didn't exist. The evil that he did, it wasn't it didn't really exist. It was just an absence of good, you know? So he does the cold thing and absence of heat and all that shit. And then he goes, does dark exist? And the professor goes, yeah. And then he goes, again, you're wrong, sir. Darkness does not exist either. Darkness is, in fact, the absence of light. Or light is the absence of darkness, whatever you want to look at. I mean, if you think about it, the, the universe, the vast majority of the universe is a black emptiness when you kind of think about it. I mean, it's just black and a couple white stars. That's what it looks like to me. So it seems like the majority of the universe is darkness. Um... You know, I don't want to make it sound bad or anything. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, why can't light be the, actually the absence of darkness? Or maybe they, they like in Dexter, it's just they work with each other. Who fucking knows? Okay, now here we go. Here we go, everybody. This is where this is where I immediately become a Christian. This is what gets me. Finally, the student asked the professor, Sir, does evil exist? The professor replied, of course it exists. The student responded, Sir, evil does not exist. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Just as in the previous cases, evil is a term which man has created to describe the result of the absence of God's presence in the hearts of man. Yes, like in the dark ages where everybody was wanted people to be Christian and kill people who weren't. Oh, they had the presence of God. What? After this, the professor bowed down his head and didn't answer back. The young man name? Of course. The agnostic, the person who said, I don't believe in a God who punishes or rewards his creations. I don't believe in a personal God. That's for weak people. It was, of course, Albert fucking Einstein. This is like the stupidest thing I've ever read. What fucking hack wrote this? I mean, even if we are, you know, we're, you know, cold is the absence of heat. Okay. You know, dark is the absence of light, whatever. What does that necessarily conclude that evil is the absence of God? You know, it, 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 I mean, Hitler, what Hitler did, it, it, well, it, evil does not exist. What Hitler did, it didn't exist, I guess, if that makes any fucking sense. It was just the absence of God. He was backed up by the Catholic Church, but it was the absence of fucking God. I mean, if you actually think this is some kind of convincing argument, let me put it this way. Why is cold the absence of heat? Because God made it that way. He could have made the absence of heat raisins, or heat's the absence of cold, or leprechauns are the absence of sugar fairies. I mean, what, it's because he created it like that. So if evil exists, if there's some, if there's an absence of God and it has something to it and there's something, it is something, it's because God created it. And if that doesn't convince you, you know, that you know, if, if that doesn't convince you for some reason, let me also put it this fucking way. What does that fucking say in Isaiah? 
oh, I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. God even admits he fucking does evil. The whole entire thing of this fucking argument doesn't make any fucking sense. It was it was poorly written by some stupid religious fucking hack and for some reason some asshole or the asshole who wrote it attributed to albert fucking einstein who was against all fucking religion this is awful just awful everybody's just awful in this the first guy who quits after he just said oh evil exists so there's no god and the the atheist who deducts that which doesn't make any fucking sense and then the fact that they attributed this to albert einstein which really just does his intelligence a disservice fucking stupid I'm XXR23 and oh shit, never mind. Nope. No, this thing is right. I was wrong. Never mind. XXR23 is actually the absence of sugar puppies. Sorry about that.